Here's an interesting question. Um, all the time that you worked for, or, or all the time that you spent working at death row, is there anything that you had access to that you wish you would have kept? Whether it's uh, photo albums or, you know, music, or, you know, looking back now that you wish, damn, I wish I would have taken that or kept it or whatever. Not stole, but my you money. know what I mean. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, my money. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I don't know. This thing was riding around in a, a V6. Costed $2,900 a month lease. Stupid shit. I had a house in the Marina del Rey, one in Corona, one in Ladera. <laughs> Stupid shit, man. Stupid shit. Stupid shit. Oh, the building. The building I just saw about two or three years ago, a building that I bought, Shug bought for $1.5 or something million dollars from, um, from um, Chuck Norris. It was Chuck Norris production building. He bought it in like 94, 95. I bought from Sugar in 97, 98. It's goddamn fly. <laughs> uh, 97, 98. Um, for three million. That motherfucking building that saw so for like 18, almost 19 million dollars. Yeah. So, yeah. <laughs> but, nah, I know what you're talking about. You're talking about like pictures and stuff like that. I had everything. I had all of those pictures and and, and 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 all the letters that anyone had wrote you in prison and all of that, mm -hmm. but um, I didn't have no need for. It. Thank God I didn't because the feds would have eventually took it all because when they came raiding, that's why y'all see I'm always hiding shit like my plaques <laughs> and my 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 jewelry that I had and all of that shit I had. I was like these feds ain't coming back to get this shit while I'm on probation because they just come in your house to take every goddamn thing. Yeah, I wouldn't believe some of the stuff that had nothing to do with, with nothing. And they took just to mess with me. And so, but now there's no more. And I ain't doing nothing else stupid. Uh, and so I can break out with stuff. But yeah, but there's stuff that I know his dad has. Mm -hmm. And gonna, unfortunately going to come out because his... I don't even think the sisters care, but his nieces, his niece, <laughs> my girl wild thing, uh, I think she got access to because the dad was living with them. I heard he moved back to Mississippi or somewhere, but, and I think she was getting to a lot of that stuff and uh, was leaking it out. But there's a lot of VHS tapes of private parties and, and um, pictures explicit pictures and stuff like that that was taken during that time and that I think it's going to surface up yeah. if anything ever happened to Shug mm -hmm. or uh, or the dad. Yeah. But mainly, I think she'll even wait until something bad happened to Shug. Yeah. And you were saying and when you handed over the Tupac Masters um, or when you were oh, going the through them, yeah, yeah all the, the written out lyrics. Yeah, the all. lyrics. Well, you know, that was actually, I think I did the right thing on You that. did. Yeah. Oh, and that was uh, inside of uh, all the music box when we was doing the transfer. And then y'all don't believe me. Reggie's lying, you know, uh, that certain person like to say I'm lying and I'm lying. But that's Edie. I remember we was in uh, Skip Sailor's studio and Pac, that genius motherfucker, inside of all the 24 inch reels, he had his lyric sheets uh, written out on paper inside each one of those boxes. And I always wonder what happened to him. And I'm not, and, and I'm not saying Edie kept them. No, I don't believe no. that at all. But I, uh, Edie said, hey, Reg, can I take those? Because our intent was to take the reels to give it to Interscope. Right. And Interscope was going to hold everything. That was like the buffer between, you know, the escrow company or whatever. Yeah for Death Row and Amaru, or the estate. Mm -hmm. Death Row and Pac, you know, which was the estate. And, um, but I, I let Edie take those out and said, hey, just take these and give them to the mom. Yeah. Uh, but I noticed in the exhibit, I don't recall seeing any uh, the no, sheets. No, they, they had some. They did have some. Yeah, but not a lot of the Death Row stuff. It focused more on the, Trackless. It had all this trackless that he yeah. had mocked up or 
planned out and stuff like that. But yeah, not not a lot of those. Although lyrics. he had every song that he wrote on, mm-hmm. on 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 pieces of paper rolled out. Yeah, and in the box with the reels of those particular songs. Yeah, when you got those reels to do that with Edie, um, how did you? How did you know that you got all the songs? Because I always heard that there were reels that were mislabeled or that... Reggie Wright ain't never been to the Pacific Archives in his okay. life. Ever. So was it Butch that went Butch. and grabbed that stuff? Okay. Okay. Butch Maul was in charge of doing that. All I was there for was to make sure that Edie would say, this song is missing. Okay. I think we did this song. Yeah. Where this one at? Mm-hmm. But Edie eventually signed off on everything that we... Uh, a, you know that we turned over, right? And was pretty much told it because he was like the representative for the estate. For the estate, yep. And he kind of must have, because they wouldn't have did the deal with us mm-hmm. if they were still felt that it was some you guys were yeah hiding there. some stuff. Yeah. So he had to either tell them, "Hey, we're missing this song, this song," and they just like, "All right, they ever come out, we'll deal with them then." Mm-hmm. It could have been the conversation. I don't know. Yeah, yeah. but. I don't ever remember Edie saying, where's this song at? You know, where's this particular song at? Because to be honest, I think nobody knew. Yeah. Everybody was just trying to go off to their brains. Okay. It wasn't like it was written down or anything like that. Yeah. Trying to remember what they recalled. 